everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bitch. That's right guys, we are back. And guys, we are going to be answering your guys' questions that you guys sent in. Ain't that right, Skull Duggar? That's right. I, but but see, I'm more over than that goddamn fucking <laughs> wrestling exposed. But Fuck uh, the cat, though. <laughs> anyway. Let's go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, guys, we've been trying to answer you guys' questions like crazy all the time. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't know what he's... <laughs> his, fucking hate, uh, his fucking face is starting to be purple like something else. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, well, you see, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll handle that when we, we get done filming. <laughs> no, we won't. Yeah. But anyway, uh, we're going to answer your guys' questions that you guys sent in. And uh, guys, we're trying to keep up as much as possible, guys. You guys guys, you guys got to actually give us some time. You guys are humping the table. What are you guys doing there? Oh, I'm doing scooting that. there. What are you doing? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started with the first two questions. We, get, we, we, we can't lean too much on this right here. We're low budget, motherfucker. We break this one. We, 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 we'll, have to, we'll have to put our money together to go out and get another table. Matter of fact, that's how we got this one. We put our money together. Uh, the first question, uh, the first two questions are asked by Terry, uh, Terry Joe. Uh, Terry Joe. Terry Joe. Uh, first question is, uh, during the Invasion era, uh, what side would you place Triple H? Now, looking back in uh, 2020 hindsight, and 2020 sucks, by the way. Uh -huh. Yeah, it sucks. That's how come we don't care anything about it. We're talking about every fucking Federation side. But uh, looking back, we do know that Triple H gets injured in May of 2001 yeah. Yeah. Uh, with the uh, quad. Uh, yeah, blows his kneecap over the side of his leg. Yep. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, but here's the thing with Triple H, he finished the fucking match. Didn't he? he did, yeah, finish, he the did match. finish the match. He didn't do a sin he, car. He, he didn't do a sin car. Hey, I'm hurt. I broke the finger. <laughs> oh! Did you see what he wrote? Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's like doing the rub, just break. <laughs> just break. Uh, but uh, we do know that. Uh, that he did get injured of, of May of 2001. Yep. And uh, by... Now, I by, tell you what, now, I told him to be careful going out there. You're going to tell us what. He did. Uh, by June uh, 2001, mm -hmm. they start the actual <laughs> invasion angle. Yeah. Now, we do know that Triple H will be out for the rest of the year. Yeah. Uh, and returns in January of 2002. 2002. With a big pop in New York. Yes. Uh, Madison Square Garden. Yes, in the, in the blue Triple H blue jean Did, jacket. Yeah, the denim jacket. I enjoyed that look. Yes, yes. And uh, I was happy to see him back. <laughs> oh, yeah, because, uh, you know, don't get me wrong, I, I wasn't the biggest Triple H fan, but I mean, you know, uh, it's just like... I was happy to see him back. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, it's cool to see him back, and of course, you know, he wins the, the yep. 2002 Royal Rumble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, by eliminating Kurt Angle. Yep. Um, and then he had to follow Rock and Rock and uh, Rock and Hogan, which was hard to do. Can't blame Triple H for that. Yeah. Poor Jericho. Uh, but fuck Jericho. Yeah. Uh, in 2020, fuck Jericho. In 2020, fuck Jericho. But uh, where would you place Triple H in the invasion angle then? All right. Now let's just be honest. If it wasn't for his injury. He he actually didn't get any of the stink on him no. whatsoever because a lot of a lot of the wrestlers didn't get a lot of stink on him yeah. for this yeah. for this invasion angle. Um, so uh, I guess I, I guess Triple H's injury was kind of a uh, a good deed uh, that he ain't gonna uh, go through the stupid fucking invasion angle at all. Yeah, uh, because by the uh, by, by Survivor Series in two thousand one. It was done, so it wasn't. It wasn't even that long. It was only like five, like five, yeah. five months. So, um, where would you place Triple H if he was there? Other Triple H, like, thank God I tore my quad. <laughs> thank God, thank God I swim through this one. Yeah, thank God I got hurt. All, great, thank God I got hurt at the perfect time. That's right. But I think we would just stay in the WWF. Think it would have been WWF. Yeah. Why is that? Because he was more over in the WWF. He was terrorizing in John Paul Lebeck. He, he was at the Stunning Steve era. You know, fucking me card. Yeah. You know, so why the fuck would you go back to that? 
Agreed. See, here's another thing. If I was going to bring, you know, if, you see, if they wanted to take <laughs> no. some stars from WWE, I'd take the ones that actually were in WCW, like around 98 or 99, or, you know, take a Jericho. Or, hell, take Bibwalk, because he, well, I, oh, wait a minute, he got hurt around that time, too. Yeah, yeah, he was out. I forgot he got hurt in King of the Ring. Yep. You know, you know well, then, fuck it, take Jericho. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand Austin to an extent, but Austin wasn't even a big yeah. star in WCW. Well, Jericho wasn't a big star either, but he was there in 98 and 99. At least, at least that would make some, ooh, a little bit better sense. Mm -hmm. Or, hell, you could, you could. Chris Benoit wouldn't have been hurt. He could probably even win. No, because he was there in 2000. So, uh, WWF? Yeah, he, he would have stayed in WWF. Uh, I think he would have stayed in WWF. Uh, here's the thing. I, I never got anything about that right there invasion anyway. The, the, the real top stars was already fucking out by that, by that right there time. So, what would you consider that being an invasion? You brought in the, the, the B team. You needed the A team. No, all they brought in was Thunder and Saturday Night Guys. Yeah. yeah. It, it, Chuck Palumbo, yeah. Chuck Sean Palumbo O'Hare, Chuck Palumbo, Sean O'Hare, Mark Jindrak, was, was the, Sean Stasiak, Hugh Morris. Yeah. If I was going to invade another company, I would want my A team. Now, see, I don't mind. You know, I didn't mind to actually sign these guys because you know. You know, you always look to the future because because a lot yeah. a lot of those Lance guys were young at yeah. the time. Yeah. yeah. So I understand why they signed them, but I mean, do you think they would have really went went against established people like The Rock? The you think The Rock should be games? scared of fucking Sean Stasiak or yeah. or fucking Hugh Morris or or Lance Storm or or fucking Palumbo O'Hare? You see, that, that's Jim it. Rack. That's it. That's what I'm saying. You see, they 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 brought the B team. The A team should have went there. You know, fuck. They it would have made more sense for the A team to to have showed up. That, 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 and then we do know that they yeah. didn't, like some of the guys. They even sent to like Heart Rim, Heartland Wrestling. Yeah, and OVW. Yeah, and, and OVW. They sent like Lash Larue. Um, yeah, uh, Kazayashi. Uh, Rey Mysterio. Yeah. Rey Mysterio. Really, he didn't. Yeah. He didn't show yeah. up there. You know. No. Yeah, I'm sitting there fucking. Like, damn. And sent fucking Mark Jindrak. Sean O'Hare. They were going to get Chronic, but Chronic's like, no, we're too good to go there. You know, we're already polished. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Well, I'll be honest, they weren't. They wouldn't polish. Right. Uh, uh, I, 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 I would also go with uh, Triple H to the WWE. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, anyway, I thought it was stupid. Like I said, you know, if I was going to start an invasion, it would have been the A team that, that I would have brought not to be. No doubt. Let's go ahead and get with the next question. Uh, do you like Beavis and Butthead? Uh-huh. And are you glad that they are coming back? Well, I didn't realize that they were coming back until I read about it. Um, Our Comedy Central? Yeah. Something about they got like 12 episodes yeah. uh, ready for them or something Yeah, I like heard that. Uh, Comedy Central's going to bring it in. And, and they brought in Mike Judd back. And fucking, I'm like, well, good, because I actually enjoyed Beavis and Butthead. Uh, they did come back a few years ago. Yeah, and then they got rid of it again. And then they got rid of it again. Listen, I'm, I'm just going to be honest here. As much as, as because me and Tommy, we, yeah. did, we did grow up in the 90s, so we know a lot about Beavis and Butthead. We watched, we watched a lot of Beavis and Butthead as well. Um, I think it's just a cart, uh, like a like a cultural thing. Um I just don't think it works now. I'm just gonna be honest. I just I don't. Like all all, the, all they really are are trying to cash in on nostalgia. The Beavis and Butthead name. Yes. Yeah. The nostalgia. See, here's of Beavis and I'm worried. Like it's not gonna be the same people. Well, it's not gonna be the same people, and plus, uh, I'm talking about the same people that done Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. And then also, like. Let's just be honest. A lot of the stuff that Beavis and Butt had talked about in the nineties was PC nowadays. Yeah, I, and see, that's another thing. I don't think they'll be able to do like they did in nineties. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be watered down, Beavis and Butt. Yeah. I do. I think it's going to be watered because remember, fuck the Simpsons got watered down now. Yeah, uh, the Simpsons have been watered down for a while now. It's because of this fucking era. And they used to be, and, and, and I remember when when they first yeah. started out, they were wild. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, saying some wild you know, shit. And, and I'm gonna be honest, fucking Family Guy's watered down. Yeah, he did too. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it ain't like it was. Well, it was when it and fucking, first started. 
you know, that, that's just my opinion. I, I'm just worried that I like Beavis and Butthead, but I'm worried it's just, just for the name. And, you know, I'm worried it's not going to be the same people that done it. And I'm just worried they won't be able to do what they used to in the 90s. Agreed. Especially the way people in this era get so fucking offended. You know, when I've been more offended than other shit than what we see nowadays. I'm offended right now. Yeah. You know, I fuck, I'm offended looking in the, in the tang looking fuck every day in my opinion. <laughs> I'm the offended. Tang, the tang fuck. No, I'm, I'm more, I'm more I'm offended. I'm offended about no, being, uh, uh, about this about this don't well. put tang at yeah. All right. I'm more offended at orange, looking at orange drink <laughs> every goddamn day. Okay, you know you got. I, I, I love Beavis and Butt Head too. I, 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 I love what what they did. I thought it was funny as hell, but I, I think it's just going to be totally different now. I, I don't think that, that they're going to let them get by with what they did back in the day. Uh, that's I, I, that, 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 just like cartoons back back in my day. You know, uh, now nowadays, you know, the way people get so butt hurt now, that they'd be like, oh God, we got to ban this, we got to ban that. Yeah, I, w I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if they did try to do some jokes and stuff and then people would get offended and yep. write in and, and want to get them canceled. Yeah. I'm just yeah. going to be honest. Yeah, I won't be too surprised. Yeah. Uh, because people get offended about hangnails now. Yeah, yeah, people get so, offended about anything these days. Uh, I hate America. I'm going to be honest. I think America sucks now. I'm just going to be honest. The U.S. is a toilet bowl piece of shit and everybody that lives in the United States is pieces of shit too. I'm going to be honest. Uh, and that's just the way I feel. I'm sorry. Well, you see, I blame it on me. Me, me, me I, I, I blame it on the government. Uh, I don't think they did did right. And and, and, and I just want to be fair and clear. I don't care what you some bitches write right on Facebook or whatever you do. Uh, I, 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 I'm actually ashamed to live yeah, in this country. Yeah, I, 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 I'm ashamed that every time I get on Facebook. I see something about Trumpy Bear, and and and, 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 I, and I get on there and I, and I explain to him I don't like Trumpy Bear. I want I want to make that record one hundred percent. And this one, one woman wrote me and, and said that I was un-American and, and everything. But let me get this straight here for all of you people, okay? About me and about my kids. My mother was English. My father was a Native American. I my, my Native Americans was here way before you people were. And they'll be, and, and they're the one that formed this right here country. So remember that right here. So the next time somebody writes me that that, that you're watching right now on Facebook, if I if I say something, something about Trump, remember what I said. My mother was English, my father was Native American. Boom. That that should that should tell you the story about me. Uh, but yeah, uh, a PC is gonna cancel. Uh, Let's mm -hmm. be honest. Let's go with the next one. I'm ready. Right. Asked by Big Mike. All right. Now, Big Mike actually lives in Kentucky as well. Oh. So. Well, what part of Kentucky you live? What part of Kentucky you live in? Yeah, uh, Big Mike. Where do you live at? Uh, we live here in a glorious E Town, Kentucky. Let's put it just right here, Wade. We're gonna say it real straight. We live in Elizabeth Town, Kentucky, which I like to call Fuck Tucky. <laughs> His question is, which is your favorite SmackDown versus Raw game, and why? Favorite SmackDown vs. Raw game? Yeah. Uh, I already got mine. Uh, I have to go with SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. I agree. Same. Uh, I did like the first SmackDown vs. Raw. I thought it was awesome. Um, but uh, with with 2006, they they improved with a lot yeah. of stuff on that. Like as far as um, the title belts weren't as much. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you wanted it to be cardboard, but yeah. uh, uh, the title belts wasn't as much on on the game. Um, they had a lot of the uh, the trophies, and unless you want to make plat cardboard, yeah, 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 yeah. Be backyard to... like AEW. <laughs> um, uh, they had uh, more unlockables on there as well, um, with like you know you had Ted DiBiase and Jake Roberts. Uh, Jake Roberts uh, you also had a uh, uh, where you could unlock the uh, hardcore and million dollar championship, and, yep. uh, which was unheard of for a, for a game at that time. Um, 
And then you can actually have title matches on there as well. Yeah. Where, where on SmackDown versus Raw, Raw, the first one, you couldn't. No. Uh, unless you were th through season though. Yeah. Uh, which was uh, just fantastic. And plus the roster. Yeah. Uh, was was great too. So. Yeah, it was. Um, and then of course you get to unlock the ECW yep. uh, show and, uh, and WrestleMania Nine. WrestleMania Nine. And, oh, and, and and the Baby Blue still cage. Yeah, the Baby Blue. Uh, the, the good cage. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the big blue cage was the, was the awesome. One out of yeah, yeah. Uh, Pops, what was your favorite SmackDown versus Raw game? Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, here comes the pain and SmackDown. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why. And there's the smack there here because the pain? Yeah, I'm going, to tell, I'm going to tell you why. Why I like them up there because they were easy for me to play. <laughs> I mean, the Robert Smackdowns were pretty easy to play. Yeah. Uh, like, like until you got to about like 2008-ish. Yeah, yeah. They kind of changed I know, the... But I, I never was really into that. Uh, I, 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 I like, I like the, the, the old shit. That's what I do. Uh, and I can't help it. It's just old school with me. And I like playing it. Old school. Like old, that old school. Old school, baby. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the next question asked by T N Q Ponder. And guys, this is more of a PC uh, topic, so let's uh -huh. go ahead and get this get this one here. Oh boy! Uh, because because everybody gets fitted nowadays. Uh -huh. I, I, oh boy! Oh boy! We live we live in the glorious United fucking States of America, where everybody gets fucking butt hurt. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Washington Redskins changing their team name now? Uh -huh. For years, I've been hearing about them wanting to change their name. Yeah, I heard people been wanting them to yeah. change their name for years. Uh, where uh, they could change it to uh, what was it? The Washington Red Tails. Yeah. Uh, Washington the, Generals. The Washington Generals. The Washington uh, Warriors. Yeah. Uh, the Washington fucking Thunderbirds. <laughs> yeah. We got enough birds. Yeah, there's no bir goddamn birds we, in the NFL. We got enough birds in the NFL. You got the goddamn Seattle Seahawks. You got the Arizona fucking Cardinals. You got the Atlanta fucking Falcons. You got fucking the Baltimore Rays. That's enough goddamn birds, okay? And the Eagles. And the Eagles. That's enough goddamn birds. And you don't need Five's any. enough. <laughs> you don't need all that bird shit everywhere. <laughs> That's where they leave it, the bird shit. Um, now, Tommy, they just recently said that they're going to change their name before. You want me to tell you? What a great genius name this is. I, I could I, I thought, watch the football team. We know they're in Washington. Washington football team uh, we, 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 is the name we, we, for the Washington Redskins Washington football team. We know they're in w. Washington. We, we we know when they come out they're wearing football uniforms. Ladies and gentlemen, what fucking goddamn just kind imagine, of name is that? Just imagine that they got the field right, and here comes the fucking PA announcer. And ladies and gentlemen, here comes your Washington football team. <laughs> Oh god. Just imagine. Oh, just imagine how fucking stupid that is. Uh, just go on the goddamn PA and the goddamn announcer announces that. Because of course everybody knows that the Redskins is kind of a slang term for Native Americans. Yeah. Look, you know, I've already No Pops, it. you are you yeah, are Yes, yes, yes. My, my 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 father was was a Native American. He 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 was a Cherokee Indian. Uh like I said, my mother was English. Remember that. I want to tell on people on Facebook when they call me un-American to remember that. Uh, well, I'll be part of the test, Christian Landstorm Squad. Uh, <laughs> listen, the un-American? Uh, I, it doesn't bother me. Because, because look at this right here. Uh, it doesn't matter to me what, 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 a, what a name is because that's just a name. What bothers me is, is you... You get in there and you do the best you can at anything you do. Football, basketball, I don't give a shit what, what the fuck you do. But you do the best you can at it. it a name to me doesn't mean anything. I, I tell you what, I I love the Washington Redskins because... You said I'm sure the Washington yes, Redskins. Yes, yes, I, 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 You heard I, that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I love the Washington Redskins. I, I, I loved them ever since Joe, uh, ever since Joe Tyson. And, and I John still, Riggins. And John Riggins. Love John Riggins. Listen to this right here now. You know, as most people say. And the fun bunch. Yeah. The, and, and I just don't understand why you want to change And the hogs. That's, yeah. The hogs are great. You know why they call them the hogs? Because they fucking dug in. Sweet. 
Probably a little like a uh, Henry over there. Uh, I really don't see no difference in, in changing their name. Why would you? Why would you want to change a name that, that that's been known for many, many, many years? Because it's not. Well, here's the culture. Thing. They've been called the Washington Redskins for years, years, yeah. years. And they want to. Ch you can't change fucking history, cocksuckers. I'm, I'm sorry. I hate when people do that dumb shit. You think you could rewrite history in a goddamn? Yeah, here's the like thing. you could just wipe it off, like. Here. Like you can just use some fucking white yeah, out and fucking change it. Yeah, here, here, here's the thing you know, that bothers me. You can't change fucking here, history. Uh, I'm just sorry. Just a minute here. Here's the thing that bothers me most of all. You see, you see they want to wipe out the name, but, but 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 what about all the Indians that that that, that you white people wiped out back in the day, and you're still wiping out, still still stealing their fucking land that that, that, that was given to them. You know what? But that's why my, my, my grandma did, did, didn't live on the fucking government land. That, that's why she, she wouldn't tuck and take your fucking land. See, also, also, you know, Indians is a is a is a is is a term as well. Yeah. That's a that's a slang term. Yeah, but they got, yeah. But they got Cleveland Indians. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but they got yeah, Cleveland, yeah, Cleveland, Cleveland Indians. Indians. Right, right whoa, 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 whoa. That that should be more offending to you than the Redskins. Yeah. And see, here's the thing. They come and uh, and say that's name. All right, if you want to switch the name, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's what you want to do. That's fine. That's your business. That's your business. I ain't no fucking Washington Redskins fan, so I can get you fucked. The Washington Football Team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. On PA, I'm, I'm just, I just can't wait to watch a Washington, Washington Football Team game, <laughs> just to see the PA announcer announce that. Yeah. And what, what's going to be the logo? WT. <laughs> Washington team. Yeah, 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 you know, fucking, here's the thing. You could have chosen. You could choose names. Like, if you want to go to that that Indian stuff, you could choose the Washington Tomahawks. You could choose the Washington fucking anything. Washington Arabs. You know, well, you could I, choose something, just, something just, just, from the goddamn just, that just era. Let me set this right here straight. I am proud of, 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 of my Navy heritage from from from, from my father's uh, family. I love I love my, my family. Uh, just let me say this right here. You know, you, you can be proud of whoever you are, but you don't have to be a fanatic. You know, look, you can change it to the Washington Tomahawks, the Washington Arrows, and and, and, and I, that's what I change it, the Washington Tomahawks, and I want them to come out the Tatanka thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That'll be their fucking fight song right there. Are they going to do this when they come? Yeah, they're going to do that too. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, and I'm, and I am pretty sure, you know, that, that if my father was but alive, yeah, that's what was I'm... alive today, if my father, the kid's grandfather, was still alive today, and I and, and he knew about all this right here shit, and I go over there and ask him, oh, Dad, what do you think? Th 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 think about that right here? They're, they're, they're getting they're getting all all beat up with one of the change of the and Redskins and that. You know what my grandfather, my, my father did to me? He'd turn around and look at me, who in the hell cares? I worry about, I, 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 I worry about years ago when, 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 they, when, they, when, they, when they killed, when they killed all, of our, all of us. Took our land away. That's what, that's what my father was concerned about, taking our land away. I, I just think it's fucking ignorant. Yeah. Well, look out for the Washington football team. Yeah. yeah. They, they'll be rolling into your area. <laughs> Alright guys, last question for this edition of 5 Questions is from Gregory Shulet. Oh, Shulet. Gregory Shulet. Okay. His question is, how would you rebook the finals of the 1995 WWF King of the Ring? Can I say something real quick about the 1995 King of the Ring? Yes. Well, well, well let's, let's see what he wants to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Mabel. Yes. We should mention that Mabel uh, was the winner of the 1995 King of the Ring. Tommy, you take it away. Right, huh? Let me tell you something about the WWF and the 1995 King of the Ring. Don't make us review that fucking show. Let me say that right here, right now. If you guys you want us to not review, say that, hold on. You review if that you show. guys want us to review the 1995 King of the Ring, give us a thumbs up. Oh, you better not fucking tell <laughs> us to review that goddamn show. Everybody, give a thumbs up because I want to see Tommy review that. Not review that <laughs> if you want to see us. Trash the 1995 King of the Ring. Give us a thumbs up. Fucking. Since Tommy don't want you to do it, please do it. <laughs> How would I rebook it? Mm -hmm. 
What? Well, Mabel won a one. Let me tell you that. He'd be the first one eliminated. The third man of the NWO won one. Yeah. Yeah. I heard the rumor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? I heard he was supposed to be. Woo! Well, well, they have mercy. We're doing this dandy first. Well, that's great Dave Meltzer for you. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, he's... He, Dave. He, 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 see, Dave Meltzer, you can't believe anything fucking, fucking, fucking Grandpa AEW man has to say. Because he's cocksucker. Yeah. I'll tell you everything. <laughs> I'll give yeah. a fuck. I'll tell the truth. Yeah. yeah, yeah you don't yeah. like it, Dave? Suck it. Dave, Dave. Uh, they, See, they, you're fucking. They you're fucking a lot of nuts. You tell me what he is. He's an anal liquor. <laughs> anal liquor. Oh god. He likes those. He, he, he likes to lick, lick, lick the cracks of New Japan. He loves to lick the crack of fucking Tony Khan. He loves to lick any crack to get any, any crack to get any goddamn fucking a sniff. I'm being honest. Because yeah. because he, he's a fucking mooch. He's been mooching off the business for fucking years. Dave Meltzer. But fucking about loves the nuts. <laughs> but fucking King of the Ring, you know, and Mabel one to one that bitch. Okay. Uh, here's the thing. I remember when fucking after after this King of the Ring, the British Bulldog. I remember fucking Luger went to the WCW, and so Bulldog was going to face Mo and Mabel, and uh, fucking he chose Diesel as his partner. Bulldog turns on fucking Diesel. Big Daddy Cool. Yeah. Turn. British Bulldog turns on Diesel, and Mabel was king of the ring at this time. Yeah. It stole Mabel's heat, because no one expected British Bulldog to ever turn heel. Mm -hmm. You know, fucking, you know what I'm saying? It made no sense. If you were going to fucking have Bulldog switch heel or anything, why don't you make him in the king of the ring match? Mm -hmm. It would have made sense, because he was going to feud with Diesel here in a couple of months. So, so why the fuck, I would have put him and Bulldog at SummerSlam, my choice. It would be better. You know, my opinion. Fuck Luger, he was going to leave anyway. I wouldn't even book him in his American flag shirt. Yeah. <laughs> now, his head's back. I'll be your hero. Well, he's probably leaving anyway, so yeah. what the fuck you should give him payday? <laughs> and fucking, and fucking, but then, you know, the people in the King of the Ring tournament, you know. Wasn't that stellar? Wasn't yeah. that stellar? You and, and the people I that mean, were in yes, it. I mean, yes, you did have Undertaker. You did have Sean, and you had Yoko. But Savio fucking Vega, the roadie, no disrespect to the road dog, but he wasn't, he wasn't polished at this time. He in 95. In 95, yeah. he was still. He wasn't he ready was still, to go. He was still the bodyguard with double, he was still the fucking concert guy with, with double J, Jeff Jarrett. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And up in the air and yeah. USWA. Yeah. yeah, and then and then you got fucking Yeah, and then you got fucking Bob Holly. Yes. And then you got Kama, who just who just came in. Yeah. And fucking I was like, and then you see fucking and then Sav I remember I think Razor was supposed to be in that tournament, but he got hurt. Mm -hmm. And Savio filled in and he took on IRS in a shitty match. Yeah. And fucking uh <laughs> And fucking, and then fucking Savio fucking goes all the way. He's in the finals, and then it's like, okay, we got Sean. Okay, maybe, maybe Sean can do. It. Fuck, he can't. Fucking, he he got, he's gone. Then fucking Undertaker, he's got, he got beat. Then Yoko, he got counted out. There was no salvaging this tournament at this point. This yeah. tournament was done deal after that. Because by the time by the time you got to the semi main event. Well, this tournament the, the, was dead to rights right then. The semifinals, you had Mabel and a bye. Yeah. And then you had fucking Savio against the road. Yeah. This, well, there was no saving this fucking tournament. This tournament's a clusterfuck. I just want to say one thing, and then you can get that. I've never seen a King of the Ring tournament where, where you got counted. I thought it was Ben Falls was it mission. You know, but... Okay, I, I, we're, talking, we're talking about this right here. Yeah, WWE changed a lot but of things. I would have chose either Yoko or Sean or Undertaker. I, I, that's who I went for. I'll be or, honest. Or, you know, like you said, bring Bulldog in. Yeah, and, or bring yeah. Bulldog if we're going to switch him heel to begin with. Because because that would that, that would have been good. He, he turned the heel. And, 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 and that right there would have made a lot of sense. Have him turn on have him turn on Diesel a couple weeks before that's fucking it. King of the Ring. That's it. And then put throw, throw him, put the King him of the in ring. the tournament. Yeah. But we do know that Vince Vince likes big big well, that's, you don't tell you what that is, no. Vince being Vince. Vince, Vince, so he when, likes... When he's, when he's losing or fucking low ratings, he always goes to the fat guys. 
Vance. Well, I'm being honest, he does. Vance is the kind of guy. He goes to the big and guys. And he said this himself. You people can go back and look. He likes big, hairy men. You no, know, he goes to the big guys. And, yeah, we we see fucking Mabel beat Savio. And, and, and you can see yeah. how thrilled the Philly fans, they were chanting ECW. That's how good, and that's how interested they were in this fucking yeah. They wanted ECW in that fucking arena. And uh, I, I would have rather had ECW in 95 too. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, me too. Yep. Yeah, that's me. I would have had either Bulldog go in the tournament, and then if that wasn't the case, I would have chose Yoko, Sean, or Undertaker. Because <sighs> there was no saving that tournament no, after those three guys. No, uh, here, here's just, I, I agree with you. It, 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 you know, it would have been more sensible if, if it turned. British Bulldog heel at that right there one time. But with Yokozuna gone, The Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels uh, those three talents right there, and they got eliminated? It didn't make sense. First to me. round, too. First yeah. round, too. There was no way. And then after that, yeah. you were like, fuck this tournament. I was. I, 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 and, and I was, too. I was like, well, well goddamn, the, 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 the three guys that should win it is already gone. Why well, watch this motherfucker? Mm -hmm. and once again, you're, you're probably saying, well, well, why do you want the established stars to win? Well, who else was there? Yeah. There was nobody else at that caliber. And then, and then you, know, you know, when you see fucking Mabel win, it's like, mm. The guy from Men on a Mission? Yeah. He was a Mick Carter. You know, fucking on the fucking Superstars theme song, yeah. Lion King. You know, <laughs> he was a mid Carter at that time. Yeah. He just turned heel. Mm -hmm. I, I just didn't see no sense. And it, okay, okay. Let's put it just right here away for people who don't understand about how this right here works. And we all know how it works. You get the King of the Ring, what does it really mean for you? You don't get nothing. Well, it was, it, it, you, you, you were supposed to at least get a title That's shot. That's right. So, yeah. but, 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 And he does get a title yeah. shot at Summer Slam 95, one of the but, worst matches on the card. And it was next a to Worth the Fame fucking yeah. Thunder Blaze. And it was a horrible fucking match. Yeah. It sure was. And you could tell Diesel was hurt too after that fucking sit down. Yeah. You see Diesel's eyes roll in the back of his head. Fucking got a back injury. But, barely hops over that rope we were <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but that was because of Maple. But here's the thing. The odds, the, the odds is not good when, when you know when a mid card goes it goes goes against a guy that's real established. The odds are not good. Not, <laughs> not the nineteen ninety nine. No, no, not, not in that one. No, no, no. It, the odds, the odds were horrible back then. But again, I'm gonna say this right here. Don't make us review that fucking show. You guys want us to review again? No, you better not. You better <laughs> hey guys, make us review it. Better not. Because you guys I want to get behind the camera, I'm going to tell you what we do is I'm going to get behind the camera and film it. I'm going to laugh my ass off. <laughs> we hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Just make fun of you, old man. He's liar. Get your hat down there over your head. We hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, if you guys did, I'm going to mess up your hat. Don't forget to share, uh, share us all, all over social media. Like us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Russell Rampage 2. Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me and Tommy on Instagram, as well as Ad Pops on Facebook. That's right. Yeah, all the talks about Trump all day. Yeah. I just want to get the, the story. The orange drink himself. I, I just want, 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 you see, here's the thing. If we got time here, I, I, you know, they, they, they talk about Trump. They, they, they talk how minutes. wonderful he is. But, but you see, they don't want no rebellion. That, that's what Gil said. If you guys don't want don't want no rebellion, don't, don't, don't put down what you say about Trump. Damn yeah, yeah, goddamn Trumping loving motherfuckers. Don't break the table, man. Don't break the table. We're low budgets now. Don't, don't break the table. Goddamn Trumping loving motherfuckers. Sure you get, hey, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for don't more great videos subscribe. coming to you guys because we are that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop. And nobody does it better. Goddamn fucking right.